What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jacking Off back again. Not a for that Bull City do fall me in the fucking building. Um, so, um, got word today that the Jaguars parted ways with our backup quarterback, Cody Kessler. He was released after one season. We traded, I believe, a sixth or seventh round pick for him from the Cleveland Browns. Started four games for us last year, and he was released today. Good. Fuck him. That guy was so fucking disgraceful and repugnant. Like, I couldn't stand him. Like, and the thing is, like, <clears throat> I had mediocre expectations for him because when he was playing with the Browns during that whole 0-16 season, out of all the quarterbacks they had, he looked like he might have sucked the least. But, um... Yeah, he may, he may have ended up being the worst one. Like, God, he was fucking awful. Like, no arm strength, inaccurate as fuck. Just, I don't know how this guy was a third-round pick. Fucking disgusting. Like, the highlight of his the highlight of his career here was um, beating the beating the Colts six to nothing. Which, re which really, that was a testament to our defense because the supposed god that fucking Andrew Luck is, piece of shit. But yeah, he um, he couldn't uh, muster a single point against the Jaguars' defense. And on the other side, there was a quarterback playing that was beyond the shit levels of Blake Bortles and Marcus Mariota. Maybe even Blaine Gabbard. Nah, I don't know. I may not go that far. But um, yeah, anyway... <clears throat> but yeah, fuck Cody Kessler. Glad he's gone. But now this raises some question. Are we going to go into the season with Gardner fucking Minshew as our backup? Like, I'm thinking of names to sign for a backup quarterback since Kessler's gone. And there's really none out there. I can't really think of anybody. And then, um, you know, we didn't get fucking, um, we got, a. Uh, I was hoping we would end up with uh, Will Greer or Tyree Jackson since we weren't going to take a quarterback in the first round. But, for, well, in the first or second round. Um, so I was kind of hoping we would end up with uh, Will Greer or, like I said, Tyree Jackson. But uh, that didn't happen. And we got this fuck, which you guys already know I'm not that high on. Um, but I don't know. It, it's possible he could be better than Kessler because, I mean, Cody Kessler did suck. I mean, four career starts, appeared in five games, and threw two touchdowns. That is pathetic. But, I mean, <clears throat> if Nick Foles goes down, is this the guy we have as our best option at backup? I don't know if I trust it, but apparently there's quite a following for this guy. Like, I had a couple people comment on my draft video when... I talked about my disdain for this pick that, um, kind of defending, uh, Mr. Menchu here. So, I don't know. It's possible he could be better than Kessler. I mean, that's not saying much, but he definitely can't be any worse than Tanner Lee. Because that guy was fucking atrocious. I don't even know how that guy got drafted. But, um... I don't know, man. I guess it's gonna be interesting to see what we do with this, um... Who's going to be our backup? Just pray to God Nick Foles doesn't get hurt. Which, I don't think he will. Like, throughout his career, I mean, he's had a couple injuries here and there. Well, he had that one injury the one time in Philly. But, um, I think for the most part of his career, he's been relatively healthy. But, um, I don't know. This is, this is going to be interesting. We'll, um, we'll keep monitoring the whole backup position, but... At least we don't have to deal with Cody Kessler's sorry ass anymore. He is gone. I'm glad he's gone. Just, um, if Gardner Minshew is the fucking backup, I just hope he's at least better than him. Alright, guys. Well, y'all have a good one. I'm out.